Say you have an order class with a pay method on it. Your goal is to accept different types of payments, some of which may not even be known yet. How would you go about doing it? Let me introduce you to the strategy part. And I know you don't care, but here is a diagram for it. Strategy interface and its implementations define the possible behaviors the context may want to execute. And the context is the class that accepts and uses these behaviors either when the class is instantiated or at a runtime. In our example, order is the context and the payment systems are the strategies. Coding the strategy pattern is really simple once you understand these concepts. First, we create the payment strategy interface and define the pay method on it. To keep it short, we'll only implement the strategies for the cash and credit cards. In the cash strategy, our add method will print paid with cash and in the credit card strategy, it will print paid with credit card. Then we'll modify our order class a little bit. The first change will be to allow passing in the payment strategy in the constructor and setting the instance variable, so we could use it in other methods of the order class. Then we'll define the set payment strategy method. It will allow us to override the payment strategy after the order object has been created. And finally, we'll change our pay method to call the pay method on the currently assigned strategy. Now let's test it. We'll create a cash strategy instance and pass it in to the order object constructor. Then we'll execute the order.pay method to verify that the correct strategy was executed. After that, we'll use the setter method to assign the credit card strategy to the same order. And then we'll call the order.pay method again. And as we can see after running the program, we correctly had the cash strategy executed first and the credit card strategy executed next. To make sure you understand how simple this strategy pattern is and to help you better memorize it, implement the PayPal strategy and add it to this program. And if you want to continue learning how to write elegant and more maintainable code, click on the next video to learn about the decorator pattern.